Yeah, I got into construction site, climbed about 24 flights of stairs. And this is what he saw. At the top, he teetered on the edge. I was pretty much standing on the edge of the roof and then walking along it, uh, which I found it very difficult. I haven't really done that before. And he went higher. He climbed the crane. Uh, I crossed to the, the arm of the crane to the very end. The views stunning and sickening. It's a trend reaching new heights around the world, from Shanghai to New York. Climbing up there really gives me the sense of freedom and freedom from my feeling of sickness, all the malaise and neurological conditions and tiredness, uh, probably because of adrenaline rush. McGuire says he often gets depressed. The adrenaline rush used to help. The novelty starts to become less, and uh, that's when I really get into the phase of enjoying it for what it is. He says it's also art. Police say... From my perspective, that's stupid. If he was to lose his footing and fall, and there's uh, people in proximity of where he lands, uh, not only is he going to kill himself, he could pot potentially kill members, some member of the public. McGuire's been hurt before. I think it's dangerous. I've fallen off once. Uh, it was about 30 feet in Vancouver, and I broke my upper body. But when he healed, he climbed the 63-story Trump Tower in Vancouver. Do you have a death wish? No, I don't. No. But if I die, then, hey... At least I enjoy what I do, yeah. Uh, do you want to live? I do, of course. That's uh, why I do crane climbing. <laughs>